Have you ever wanted to time travel to the future? Well, today all of us are because, because I'm building an ultra futuristic house in Luxburg. This idea was suggested by a subscriber called Love Bertie. Does this mean she loves Bertram? I'm saving up for a car so I can run myself over. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. And also, I've got my best futuristic outfit on. And we can name the plot. Hey, future me. <laughs> to me it's me past you There's something i notice about futuristic houses is they are crazily shaped they are literally the most wild shapes ever we're kind of just gonna play with that with diagonals and stuff and kind of just see where the flow takes me <laughs> so this is kind of what i've got for the base floor it looks a little bit lame right now because it's all gray but maybe we should actually color everything white because it's the future i don't know why we always think like blue and white when we think of the future and i added the second floor and this is what i've got so far it's kind of awesome though on the top, we're going to make it come out a little bit further. Wow, this looks like a game of Jenga gone absolutely crazy. Oh. Kind of like an illusion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Next up, I think we should add the windows. I don't think this even needs wall trims. And a little building hack. Oh, wait, it's kind of weird when you're building on like an angle, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, no. The building hack is to resize it by $44. And then this is going to be the exact size of a block. However, I actually want it to be a little shorter. And then we're going to bring it down to the ground. And if you're asking what pattern I'm doing right now, I don't know. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. It looks different. Usually different, it's unusual. unusual. It is nice. And I feel like a lot of this build is going to be looking different and unusual, to be honest. And also, guys, let me know in the comments. Are you a fan of modern houses? Because if you are, I'll start building a few more modern style on the channel. And then these pillars, we're going to shorten down to be the size of a window just to stop these kind of awkward corner bits. I kind of like this window design of being kind of small. That's kind of small. And the trick, I think, is just to make each window have its own little spice to it. And I've added so many windows in now. This does look mental, mental, chicken oriental. Even I'll admit that. But finally, I wanted to add some of these glass doors. And then I decided the garage should be, like, off the side if that makes sense final steps to fix this crazy mess is going to be using roofs and basic shapes we'll start off with roofs and of course we're using the flat ones oh it's a travesty i did the roof wrong <laughs> And I've changed my mind again. I think the roof looks better as white. And before we place the floor in, actually, let's be a smart little Reese's cookie. Let's put in the way to get up. Now, I kind of am debating between having stairs and an elevator. Part of me thinks how sick to have a glass elevator in a modern house. You expect me to walk upstairs in 20 years time? There better be flying machines. But I think for Blocksburg's sake, I might use stairs, you know? And then we'll add the rest of the floor. However, it's only going to go up to sort of this corner here. Because then we're we're adding these fences. I thought we've got to have a balcony in a house this futuristic, this big. And so this is going to be like a two story living room or something. And as always, the easiest roof is the one on the top. That was easy. And then the rest of the floor. Just as I predicted, with the roofs in, this is really starting to look really awesome. I mean, this is creepy. This looks like literal eyeballs of an owl. Now, normally the build in me would be like, no, no, the walls are too bland. Help me, help me. We've got to put loads of lights everywhere. Now, today, sunshine, we are literally going to have the most sparse set of light. And the same on the back. There's just no need for so many. Who remembers when I mentioned basic shapes? Final, Final steps, steps to fix this crazy mess. Basic, basic shapes. shapes. We're just going to have a couple of cylinders, as I like to call them. <laughs> well, everyone likes to call them cylinders. That's just what they are. And I don't want to have too many. That's why I'm more putting them at the back. If you're wondering what I'm going to do for kind of the surrounding floors, it's basically going to be as if the house is melting. You cursed rat! So if you press H, click, then the grid turns off. And that is just so I can kind of show you what's going on here. As you can see, we're just having a little bit of white all around the house. And honestly, you guys know how much I've been disliking this grass, but it's actually perfect for a modern build. It's so sleek. Honestly, guys, this is such a nice building. Finishing touches are going to be some stepping stones. And even I think adding fountains just looks too much. Like, if you're a detailed kind of gal, you might not be a massive fan. But this is the kind of build which doesn't need a lot of detail. Let's, Let's go, go inside. inside. I want to do the pool room first, not going to lie to you. We need everything to be sort of open plan. And I'm wondering how we can do this, actually. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Rather than doing a traditional archway, since we're in the future now, why don't we have a giant octagon? This just looks like a round of hole in the wall. 
Who else used to love that as show? These are gonna be our doorways. I love them. And as I said, this is gonna be the pool room. So we'll just have a classical pool. Oh my gosh. How are we actually meant to place it in here? It's so hard building at a jaunty angle. And then the kind of key part of this is that it looks good from the outside. For the base, I'm gonna make it ice blocks, but really bright blue ice block. Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm in a coral reef. Look at those lines of light coming down. I am Cleo. Why would you do that? I'm gonna turn into a mummy. I wanted to see if I could add some pool light from the outside. It looks just as I'd hoped. This is such a vibe. Pretty much the only lights we're gonna have in here are sleek ones. I was rather hoping that we could outline this octagon. This red light is exposing how uneven it is, but that's not the point. That's not the point. Now in the pool room, oh my gosh, we need to add some waterfalls. And I reckon in the future, they're gonna have epic tanning stations. This room, you're gonna come in here for two seconds and then you'll be tanned and it will be completely safe. They kind of do have them already, don't don't they? What are they called? Tanning beds? And no, I'm not going crazy adding firewood in here. But doesn't that kind of just look like a rack of towels? Let's do, I suppose, the lounge, kitchen, whatever this space is here. I'm going to try my best to do the floor as neatly as possible. But as you can see, there's so many half squares. Like A bit of it is going to be mental. And also, complete side note, but I think Blocksburg should add an update for the neighbourhoods where you know how you can change the colour of the grass? I reckon they should do it kind of like Minecraft, where you can set the colour of the grass to be any texture and any color. Imagine having the whole neighborhood like this wooden planks. Or imagine setting like the whole neighborhood as water doing a flood role play. Comment down below a water emoji or a water dragon or something if you think that Blocksburg should add an update where you can change all of the floor to water. So wicker sofas are kind of screaming to me modern. Woo! Also in a room like this, modern houses, they often have pianos. <laughs> Ooh, I'm liking it so far. Sometimes less is more, but I do think there's not enough pillows on here. And I recommend when doing builds like this, getting a little creative with the colours of the pillows. For the coffee table, I haven't done a custom coffee table in ages. Maybe not that big. That's big enough to be a stage. But if you didn't know, you basically just resize a bunch of basic shapes. It couldn't actually be any easier. And then coffee table books. It's actually really wholesome. I thought we wouldn't be able to make it cosy because it's so big and open. But I'm surprised. I will admit I'm surprised. <laughs> Surprise! Anyway, that's the living room done. And then, of course, since it's two stories, the whole point of that is to have a trickling chandelier. I've used enough Victor's chandelier for a lifetime. I don't know how many of you that are watching this would have watched the Castle series. But Jesus, it cost me three million dollars. Next up, I feel like here should be the dining room. I know it's kind of an odd place to have one. Oh, wait. Wait a damn minute. This is the front door. That's the front entrance. We can't have it there. Okay, we, mu we must have to have it over here then. I can't believe. I forgot about the front door. Most important part of a building. And it's really hard when it's on a slant, isn't it? I think that's the best we're gonna get. It's just a tiny little nugget here, but who would notice that? Apart from everyone I've just pointed it out to. And the modern chairs, we could think everything in the future is gonna be all bright and white and modern. But who knows, guys? Everything could be, like, red. We literally don't have a clue. But have you guys seen on TikTok all of this talk lately about, like, time travel? Do you think time travel will ever be possible? Into the future, Yes. As you can see, everyone's saying like it's possible if you fly like close to a black hole. Uh, that doesn't sound dangerous at all. Just got to get ourselves a rocket, guys, and then let's go wait at a black hole for a year. Next up, we're going to do some custom plants. I haven't done these in quite some time. And oh my gosh, can we just talk about my outfit? It is slaying. I look like Albert Einstein, but like baddie edition. These types of plants, you do need to actually have a pot as well. Also in the entryway, just before we go into the kitchen, we'll add the umbrella. umbrella. And the hat stand. Although in the future, I reckon we're going to have built-in umbrellas on our bodies. Now, the rest of this big, chunky open space for the kitchen. I am already flabbergasted by some of the technology I see on TikTok. Bins, which like redo themselves. Amazon must have gadgets. But you're thinking, if we have that in 2024, what are we going to have in 2064? Ugh, that is a scary, scary thought, isn't it, guys? 2064. I'm not one of those people, guys, who's like, I really want to grow up. I really want to grow up. 
I'm one of those people who's like, I want to stay a teenager forever. Anyway, I don't know what that massive tangent was. I just went on. This is going to be for a nice marble tile. Do you think we'll have toasters and stuff in the future, guys? I don't know why. I'm just intrigued to know what the future's like. Anywho, I'm just kind of adding a corner island. And of course, we're using the fluent stools. I really do like these. Honestly, I'm starting to grow fond of this modern lifestyle, guys. Either way, that's the entirety of downstairs done, other than the garage, which I think in the future, all cars are going to be electronic. And to be honest, this car kind of looks like the one from Back to the Future, if my memory serves correctly. That is going to be our flying car, and you won't need any petrol. If we head upstairs, this is kind of like the second lounge area, and then the top floor is going to be the bedroom, you know? And what should we have up here? A gym. Isn't it weird? I never normally build gyms, but in the last two videos, I've added gyms. Maybe this is a sign from the universe telling me to shut the hell up and get on a treadmill. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody will ever want to hear it. A plant. Oxygen comes from plants, right? Or photosynthesis, something like that. I literally study biology at school. I should know this. We'll have a little yoga ball, which apparently we can't put on there. That'll go over there. Don't worry. I think it was a good shout having a gym. And I realized we didn't actually have a TV in the downstairs living room. So maybe we could have like the TV room up here. And you know you're rich when you have two living rooms in your house. And then up here, maybe we'll have a normal coffee table. We did go a little bit mental downstairs. So we'll just have a bit more of a normal coffee table up here. That is the second floor done. We're now up to the third story, which is so weirdly shaped. So first of all, we've got to secure the scene, guys. Don't want anyone falling off here. Bedroom always consists of three parts. The bathroom, the closet, and then the main bedroom itself, which is like the smallest part, apparently. Up here to start with, I just thought I'd put a little sofa, mainly just to fill that space over there, to be honest. Then as we go through here, this is where the bed's gonna be. So a bed I don't often use. The rocket ship. No, I'm joking. <laughs> A bed I don't often use is the curved double bed. Of course, we have the modern bed, but since this is futuristic, I feel like this one takes the ticket. In the future, I feel like we're not going to have pillows. Do you know what? To stop it looking so scary, I might just add one of these massive long, like, cylinders. For the bedside tables, I'm going to be pulling a little trick out of my pocket, and I'm going to be using these cylinders, and then I'm going to be adding, like, this wide bit on the top, and maybe just some roses. You know, Valentine's Day's coming up, guys. And then over here, we're going to have a really cool, like, desk set up. Maybe they're a YouTuber who lives here. Oh, this curved sofa goes with the bed. We can use that. Wonderful. I don't know why I love this so much. Like, normally I'd hate plainness. We now have the closet. We do have stylish closets, which are basically Bloxburg's way of saying modern closet. And I love how we just cropped out all of those windows. This looks like Kim Kardashian's closet, doesn't it? Because it's iconic. And then in the middle, we've got to have one of those Ottomans. And then a hairpin dresser. Balloon filling station. What is this? Okay, I know you would not have this in a closet, but I just want to try out this item. I've never seen it. And for the bathroom. I know this is the moment we've all been waiting for. A futuristic bathroom. It's got to end up looking good, hasn't it? So I feel like this is where we can add a couple more of those waterfalls. Ooh, isn't that a sight for sore eyes? I've decided why not have some plants? Why not have some pillars in this room? And then it can almost be a walk way through the closet and through the bathroom and it feels weird using all the modern things i'm so used to using like the gilded elegant toilet paper not to sound like a millionaire or whatever but anyway we'll have the sink unit over here with some mirrors and the final item we're putting on here what is more modern than a round illuminated mirror and with that guys the futuristic house is done. Let's go look around. And I forgot I look like Dr. Zeus over here. So the exterior of this is obviously unique beyond imagination. I've never ever on my whole channel built a house looking like this. And the value, comment your guesses guys, 285,000. Honestly, I think a lot of you guys might build this for yourself. I will quickly show you the floor plans. I don't know if this is going to help at all, but if you guys want their debt for yourself, but let's head in. Let's go look around this awesome building. So as we walk in for the front door, we're basically basically seeing the entire downstairs. So first of all, when you get in, like I said, we drop our keys down and then I'd slump myself on the sofa. I remember in year six, or what would you call it? Like fifth grade. Every day when I got home from school, I'd just be like, ah, done. Oh, what a day. And just throw myself on the sofa. We also have the piano and you guys know I love a piano because I can flex. And then of course we have the chandelier and the plants. Absolutely loves it. But this room over here, I've got to go through quick. It's going to make all my hair frizzy. This is where we can sit down and an indoor pool room is honestly like I dream of having this. And then the actual pool itself. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's kind of like poison in here. I don't know why. Over here is the kitchen. Oh no. 
honestly another top pick of mine and from this angle i really like the look of the house oh, <laughs> oh no i already know i've got all the comments fridge 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 i'm sorry guys i forgot the fridge um and then over here's the dining table so if you have guests over then at least you have a lot of space to entertain them Woo! finally the garage which is very very interesting room i will admit and imagine just making my way downtown and then that's your house let's go upstairs and i think the second floor is my favorite we obviously have the second living room this is the one where we can actually watch tv you know watch a youtuber called true reese's and subscribe oh yeah that's a good idea and then we have the gym so this is where we're going to be keeping absolutely fit getting that gym board you know wow breaking my back and then oh my gosh i didn't think about this bit did i you have to like parkour i feel like i'm in rainbow parkour again so up here this is a very nice area i feel like this is the waiting room for the dentist if we turn around we have the main bedroom i think what really stands out here is these bedside tables and then over here is where we can make all of our youtube videos playing black's born through here is the closet like imagine how many outfits you could put in here i mean <laughs> you're like horror temporary all of your clothes are the same but i mean all i need is my jeans and my white top then that's all i've got Try make a heart balloon guys that is so cool finally the greek goddess bathroom i know if you want a greek goddess looking bathroom for yourself forget the toilet and the sink all you need is a luxury bar plants everywhere and a beautiful waterfall so there we have it guys that was me building a futuristic house in bloxburg thanks to everyone who watched this subscribe if you liked it and i'll see you all next time